Thank you for choosing Vault Networks to get a Smart Fox server set up for your game. To go to the cloud platform, you would click the Cloud Login button and click Register once you visit the main page of the portal. Once here, you'll be able to set up your credentials to log into your Vault Networks account. Be sure to use information that's secure and unique. Once you've finished plugging in that information and reviewing our Terms and Conditions, you can click the I Accept Terms and Conditions button and click Register to keep going through the process. From here, you can enter a label and a host name for your machine, as well as creating a unique root password. Again, be sure to use something unique, as this will be the root password for your server. From here, you can click on Operating System and click Gaming. Under that category is where we place the SmartFox server. We have it set up with Ubuntu today. More templates will follow in the future. And from here, you can set up the resources that you need. Right now, we're running a promotion where if you enter the promo code VN50FREE, you can actually get $50 off your order. Um, this can set up the server to be free if you set the bandwidth to be charged after the fact. But for now, let's enter our information. Be sure to enter your billing information exactly as it appears on the billing statement for your credit card. As you can see, we're using a fake credit card for the purposes of this demo, uh, but be sure to use a real credit card for when you plug in your order. Here you can review your order and make sure that everything's applied. You can also enter the coupon code if you're going to be using it. It does apply in the first order. So once you submit, the process for the machine will begin spinning up. This is the home page for once you create your server. From here you can view various options such as the ability to turn the machine on and off, as well as to launch a console to view the server command line. In the information box, you can view the host name, the hypervisor or the cloud instance it's on, your login information, and of course your resources. The IP address is very important because that's how we log into the SmartFox server. So in a different browser, you can enter the IP with 8080 following to go to the home page for your server. From there, you can launch the administration tool, and the host will be your IP address. The default username is sfsadmin, as well as the password. Understandably, this isn't secure, so unless you don't have a problem with your server getting hacked, we would change that as soon as we log into the server. So here you can see the base analytics that are offered with SmartFox, including network traffic, memory usage, and CPU usage. On the left-hand side, you have a few other tools, but for now we're going to go to the server configurator to change the password. From here you can see more tools such as a band manager and IP filter uh, to change the administration information. You would go to remote admin, click on the default administrator and edit. You can change the login and the password. For now we'll change the password to something a bit more secure and that'll conclude the tour. Thank you for visiting us.